is up everybody and today we're going to be doing a video on solar eclipses since the total solar eclipse is tomorrow i figure i talk about solar eclipses in a way that you can easily understand but also a detailed description of them however before we begin please consider like and subscribing as it really helps boost the channel and may and tells youtube that um they should recommend my content anyways let's get into the video so first off what is a solar eclipse this is chapter one of nine so what is a solar eclipse a solar eclipse is basically where hold on let me move my mic um, give me a minute to move my mic a solar eclipse is basically where we have um so let me draw this out for you guys so you can understand it let's say this giant thing right here is the sun and we have the earth over here so this is earth so it looks bad and then right here you have the moon and the sun is shining onto the moon which is casting a shadow onto earth and that's basically how that works so that's basically what all um, my solar eclipse is in a more relative detail and it basically blocks the light of the sun from reaching us chapter two out of eight here here's there's three different types of solar eclipses you will have total solar eclipses annular solar eclipses and last but not least partial eclipses now what is the difference a total solar eclipse is when the moon almost completely blocks out the sun and only leaves a tiny little edge of the sun showing called the corona. Annular is when the moon blocks the sun but not out of way to make like a giant shine like that encompasses the moon. And a partial is when the moon only blocks part of the sun. Also, another fact is is that there has to be a new moon for a solar eclipse to happen also these eclipses are really, really rare they usually happen about once every 200 to 300 years this is just on average per region i mean it can differ sometimes regions get it more than other regions chapter three out of eight talk um so how do um eclipses occur and like I just showed you in the beginning, let me make it better because that one was actually kind of bad. So you will have the sun here, right? You can have the moon right here. I can't put moon in there. And then on the other side here, we have Earth. I know Earth looks about the same size as the sun, but who cares? This is just a little diagram. What will happen is the sun's light will, like, you know, it hit the moon because the moon is blocking in front of the sun. And this will cast a shadow on Earth. However, since the moon is small and the Earth is bigger than the moon, it only casts a shadow on a certain area. Now, going on to chapter 4 out of 8, here's, what, here's some safety measures you should take while viewing an eclipse. Um, so, there's two ways you can, um, you can view the solar eclipse. You can have... Um, solar eclipse glasses. 
kind of look like this. I'm gonna draw them out, yeah. They kind of look like sunglasses, but they basically have a black film over them to help you watch the solar eclipse. Or there's a pinhole projector, which I don't really know how this works exactly, because I don't. I only. I'm gonna be using solar eclipse because. I'm in the path of totality, and, um, there's also a pinhole projector, which is basically a box, where it'll have, like, a little hole, and you can kind of view the sun, I'm not going to talk about this one, I'm, you should probably just use some, some eclipse glasses as they are better, and you could damage your eyes still with using a pinhole projector. Now, chapter 5 out of 9, we're going to be talking about his historical significance. Now, there's two, there's two stories that I can recall. First one is China. In, China. in ancient Chinese culture, they thought that when a solar eclipse happened, it was a dragon trying to basically swallow the sun... And what they did was they made very loud noises by shouting and banging pots and pans. And they would celebrate when that solar eclipse went away. Another one is Egypt. Egypt is used to have the snake god, otherwise known as the snake, um, sun god, which I don't know the name of. But, um, basically, it was basically thought of as, like, a devil snake was trying to fight the sun god to block out the sun. So, they basically did the same thing as the Chinese. Now, for up back to the U.S., for upcoming eclipses, we have one upcoming tomorrow. And this is chapter... Six out of eight. I meant to say eight in my videos, and in, in the beginning of the video. So this is rough. No. I'm gonna show you what the path of totality looks like. The path of totality. Kind of looks like this. Some of these areas might not be in the path of totality, but they're gonna be, like, basically look like the path of totality. Anywhere outside of these areas will get a partial eclipse. And, in the last chip in, in this chapter, so, um, this is a, I'm gonna do start doing now I will make a part two to this video probably after this after the solo eclipse happens but if you have any questions about solo eclipses leave them in the comments below I will read them and most likely respond to you if I have free time then lastly then lastly we're gonna wrap up the video also, thank you so much for watching. This helps boost my channel. I know not many people watch to the end, so. Um, well, basically, here's a, here's a summary of solar eclipses. Solar eclipses happen when the, when the sun blocks out the moon. When, no, this, when the, the sun's rays get blocked by the moon and it creates darkness on certain parts of Earth. We also answered that there's three different types, total, partial, annular, and they all depend on how much of the moon is covering the sun. We also talked about how the, how, which a safe way to view eclipses. We also talked about um, what cultures did when they saw a solar eclipse. And also lastly, we talked about um, the April 8th, or I should say tomorrow, solar eclipse as, when, as if this is coming out. So, 
yeah, hope you got if you live in the path of totality, hope you guys enjoy the solar eclipse. I know I will be in the path of totality. Um Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever you want. Please consider like and subscribing. I'll say that again. And hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye.